should have gotten the garlic ones or something. This is honest through the mic because I completely lost all of my audio while recording dinner. On that occasion, I thought I'd do a little cook and chat with me because I feel like I haven't really done these in a while, like just sitting down, talking about life, just chilling out. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about the theme of friendships because I feel like in our 20s, it's very, it's a interesting topic because we go from this stage of our life where we see our friends all the time, kindergarten all the way to college, and then we suddenly drop that as we enter our early to mid 20s. You have more long distance friendships, especially when friends move far away, it's like hard to catch up, right? Yeah, it's like a tough thing being in our 20s, right? Because we're just like <laughs> this is such a romanticized and glamorized time and rightly so because it's fun and exciting but also like it sucks like so, okay not all of it just some some parts of it i think the hardest part is figuring it out like how how do we make new friends or how do we make sure that we keep in touch with old friends how do we manage the two it's, there's no right answer right so that said, I feel like especially after I moved out, I realized like it takes so much effort to see people I care about. First being my family, I don't really live with them anymore, so it takes time and effort to see them. And then friends. Um, a lot of my friends now have moved out to different areas. Yeah, it's just like harder to just be like, hey, wanna get boba tonight? I realized like, I think I shifted more from this like achievement driven 20s side of me. It was like, I wanna do this and achieve this and like, yeah, be a girl boss to more of like a time where I'm I really want to focus on spending time with people I care about because that's just what I need right now having a good time with people I love that's it I think right now I'm at a point where I'm like okay if all my friends are out there you know like kind of far like how do I put myself in a position where I can meet new people so I have new friends that I can hang out with so far what I've come to conclude is that yes I I think for me right now, I I struggle with finding new friends because I don't really put myself out there as much as as much as I could. I think I'm slowly getting to a point where I'm like, okay, I I can do this, you know. I I feel like I need to socialize so that I can be inspired by new people. Just meet all kinds of people who lived in all kinds of places and do all kinds of things. Like I think right now uh, I'm kind of craving just like new social connections so that I can be inspired and also have new life experiences too. But what has helped me so far in navigating new friendships is to say yes to new things. Well, that might be obvious, but it's just like I've been so in my shell sometimes that I think I should be more open to saying yes to, hey, like, are you down to meet this new person? Um, mutual, right? But now I'm like, sure, you know, why not? A second part to that is I think I'm just so much more confident in myself and who I am as a person. Obviously still figured out, but way more secure than I was in my high school years. And I think that makes me so much more open to saying yes and meeting new people because it makes me feel like I don't have to hide anything or please anyone. And I feel like that's the most draining part about meeting people for me when I was less confident was like, oh, 
what am I gonna say? Like, how, what are people gonna think of me? Like, am I dressed right? All of these like superficial things where now I'm just like, okay, like if we don't vibe, you know, it's okay. Like we don't have to hang out all the time. Having that confidence has been almost like a wall of protection, but not even protection. It's more of like, almost like a, it's gonna be okay kind of mentality. But yeah, I feel like a lot has been going on socially now because I've been more open to saying yes, meeting new people. Like I'm going to Pollock for Christmas. Like that's exciting. If you're struggling through this whole friendship thing, whether you're in your twenties or thirties, or maybe you're just struggling with in general, like I just want you to know that this is totally normal. And I feel like that's why that's like kind of what inspired my channel of ek means with in french and so it's almost like hey i'm i'm kind of here with you you know <laughs> we're going to watch hockey i've never heard hockey before so It's literally just like Whoa. Kind of melts in your mouth. Machine gogi for dinner. My mom just grilled this outside and it smells so good. I am in charge of cutting duty. Look at this. Yum. So yummy. Thank you. I should Mmm. Whoa. The charcoal is good. It tastes um, very citrusy. Was that just me? Okay. We're gonna eat the egg rolls right now. I feel like then we'll have oily hands. It looks so like vintage. Dang, I feel like I could again. I'm almost so expecting them to like right when you poke them out. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. There's so many pieces, bro. Yeah, there's. Do I eat the egg rolls now? I'm oh my god! There's a sauce. forever.